must save her. My daughter. How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you today as always. And uh, yeah, we are inside Hyrule Castle. And uh, we're in the library, which would have been a beautiful place if it wasn't all busted up and full of evil. So <laughs> anyways, this is a pretty fateful episode, guys. Fateful because it's probably going to be the last episode in the main quest at the very least. We're going to destroy Ganon, but before we do that, guys... I want to do this, the EX Royal Guard rumors. There's three pieces of Royal Guard armor that I want to find uh, before I fight Ganon. I know they're in the castle and I have a pretty good idea of where they are. So let's just try and go get those real quick. Hello, wizard boy. There's going to be a few enemies along the way, but not too many. Nothing we can't handle. I don't know why I'm using ice arrows. I guess it's just because I have so many. Wow, he actually hit me? If you're new to the channel, I am playing in master mode, so even though it looks like I'm just obliterating these guys, this is basically on the hard mode of the game. Um, Alright, let's keep going. We're getting close. Ooh, that's a big boy. Ow. Ooh, he dropped that. And then he went and picked up a different weapon. How dare you? Drop it. There's actually a lot of weapons in here, I see. This dude has so much health. Die. Alright, what do we got here? Royal Claymore, Royal Halberd, Royal Bow. Just all these amazing weapons that I just can't take them all. But they are very good weapons, so it's like, dang, you know what I mean? I think we're going to have to, you know, the, I'm not really a huge fan of spears, so as cool as that is, I'd rather, ooh, another Royal Shield too. Let's take the Claymore, I guess. Royal Guard Shield. I got too many good shields, though. You see what I mean? I'm not even going to pick up that shield. More. Uh, this is all rusty junk. All right. Well, anyways, that's not what we're here for. Might as well light the torch. Break all these. Even though I'm not going to use any of this loot pretty much, it's still good to break all that stuff. Alright, I think we have to keep going up here. The Royal Guard Armor is a, a set that I don't remember if I got it in my first playthrough of the game, but I definitely want to get it in this playthrough because it looks really cool. You guys will see. Um, it is part of the DLC, but... Uh, before we go that way, I think it is this this way. Looks like there's a bomb here. <laughs> Boom. Royal Guard Sword, which we don't really need, but... I don't know, man. I got a lot of good weapons. Let's just get the chest. This is what we came for. 
Royal Guard Uniform, the dignified uniform for Hyrule's Royal Guard. It's made of lightweight materials and it's rather st and it's both stylish and practical. It's a rather rare find. It is. We need to find the Royal Guard boots and the Royal Guard helmet. I don't think we even need to go that way to be honest. I'm just going to free the lizard boy. We need to go... Ooh. I found the dining hall. That's cool and all, but this is actually... Not where I need to go. Don't want to get distracted. We're going... Straight for the next piece of royal guard gear. I don't even need to fight this guy, to be honest. So I'm just going to leave him. Excuse me, excuse me. Thunderblade is very cool, but I do not need it at the moment. Three ancient arrows I definitely will take. And I can probably drop a bow that isn't as good. As a royal bow. Um, usually when there's a little pinwheel, like there's something to shoot. Oh, I see it. It's way, way over there. And I'm being shot at by a stupid... Dude, I'm so close. Got it! <laughs> that took a while. Thirty-five Korok seeds. All right, um, we're actually going to just jump down. And go in here. <laughs> that was crazy. Uh, we gotta... We're trapped, oh no. Psych. Come on, Link. Come, come on, come on, Link. Ooh, hearty truffles. We're getting pretty close to the next piece of armor, which I believe is this way. I don't even really want to fight the lizard. I'm just going to freeze him and move on. Just chill, bro. Chill out. Ooh, I don't remember if it's that way or this way. I think it's this way. We're looking for the guard room. Yeah, we found it. We found it. The guard chamber. Now, if I remember correctly... Two golden lizard boys, and this guy is sitting on top of the chest that we need. <laughs> These guys have a ton of health. Way too much health. Like, you really just don't need this much health. <laughs> we 
Royal Guard boots. Uh, you know, I don't even really want to kill you, bro. Sorry. There's a bunch of other weapons and stuff here. You guys can see that, but... Right now, I don't even care. Look at this. Bow. That's a nice bow, though. Falcon bow? Yeah, let's take that. Mmm... The falcon bow, it does a superior fire rate and does better in aerial combat. Couple chests. One more armor piece, guys, and then we're going to go fight Ganondorf. The last armor piece is actually on the very top of the castle, so... Don't worry about that. There is plenty of weapons. I like his weapon better, actually. Urbosa's fury is ready. You need to chill, bro. I'm not even going to fight you. Alright, let's just get out of here. I don't need to be in here anymore. I think there's a way out right here. There we go. All right, for this next part, I'm actually gonna need Zora armor so we can swim up waterfall. Because... Well, you'll see. One last look at Hyrule. And down we go. And up we go. Just gonna skip all this and go straight up the waterfalls. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, baby. I actually want to get to that waterfall over there. But maybe I can just do this instead. Miss me. There it is. Ooh, can I get there? Let's equip full Zora so we can swim fast. I ain't messing around. We got to get all the way to near the top of the castle. This waterfall will help. Here we go. Okay, guys. I'm not going into the castle yet. We need to go even higher. Check this out. Should I, should I climb up this pole? Oh yeah. Wow, look at the laser. It's pointing right in there. All of them are. The lasers look awesome from here. When you're in like the world looking at the castle, it's such a different view being in the castle and looking here. Dang. Alright, it is very close, but first I want to go up here because I think there's a Korok. Are you kidding me? 
Go Link, go Link. It's right where we just were. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, well, now we know. Okay, now let's go get the Royal Guard helmet, which should be right in here. Super secret place, though, right? Look at this. Look at that. I've actually never been in this room, guys. Like, in my time in Zelda. I've only seen video of it. I don't know what room this would be, but look at those red coil things. You, like, never see those anywhere else. And look at what we found. Royal Guard cap. This spiffy cap is part of the uniform for the Royal... Hyrule's Royal Guard. It's lighter than it looks. Easy. Actually, it looks very light. Easy to move around in. It's a rather rare find. Uh, yeah, I would think it's a rare find, being literally on the top tower of Hyrule Castle. Should we walk in that nasty stuff just to see what happens? Ow, ow, ow. Okay. I think the time has now come, guys. We're going to go fight Ganon. But before we do, of course you want to see what this armor looks like, right? There you go. So this is what uh, the Royal Guard of Hyrule would look like. And uh, yeah, this is like the King's Guard. Very cool, right? Very, more, almost more ceremonial than practical, but still very cool. The regular soldiers just wore like, you know, soldier outfit, which is one of the first ones you get like this. The regular soldiers dress like this. But anyways, uh, we're going to go fight Ganon now. We're going to do it wearing... Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I didn't actually think about what I wanted to wear. We could wear the champion's tunic. The Hylian trousers. I mean, we don't have a lot of defense, but we look pretty cool. I feel like we should look more like endgame, you know what I mean? So let's just do this. Mm, yeah, that's good enough, I think. Even though he's not... Yeah, it's fine. This is this is more endgame Link. Makes more sense. Alright, is this the front door? Let's, let's knock on the front door and start this party. Wait, is this... This is like a side entrance. But it'll probably still work. Here we go, guys. Ooh. Time to fight Ganon. Finally. 100 episodes later. Link. 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 I probably should have equipped the Master Sword. I'm sorry. But my power isn't strong enough. I can't hold it. You held him for a hundred years, princess. Just in time for me to get here. So you did great. Imagine if she let him loose just a little bit earlier. Yeah. He's made from like ancient parts. Link coming in clutch with the hang glider. That would have done massive damage just falling like that. Okay, divine beasts. Now blow him up without blowing me up if that's if that's possible. Oh, I look so cool. Scourge of Hyrule Castle, not just Castle. Calamity Ganon. Scourge of Hyrule. Hey buddy, you remember the Divine Beasts? Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge. I said don't blow me up too! You should have shot him before I went in the castle. Not while I'm standing next to him. Let's go, little guy. Now, oh well. 
If you guys miss and you just blow me up, you're on your own. A hundred years in the making. Hold on, princess. Our moment has arrived. Fire the cannon! You would think that would literally just nuke the castle. But somehow, their aim is so perfect, it only hits Ganon. He's like, eh? What's happening? Oh, wow. Boom. Half his health gone instantly. That's it? From four Divine Beasts, direct hit? I guess it wasn't like a direct, direct hit. It was kind of like down the tunnel and whatever. Guys, just fire again and he's dead. You don't even need me. Just fire twice. All right, fine. I'll do the rest. Can I fight him, please? Link is like the master sword. Ooh, I love how it equipped that, even though I didn't have it. I didn't have it equipped. Rebosa. Ow. This is master mode. Okay, hitting him in the face doesn't even stop that. Good to know. Hey, let's try an ancient arrow, shall we? I've never even shot one of these. Ooh, I almost got one shot, guys. And I bet you he's recharging his health, too. Get back down here. What is that? What is that? Oh, I can't. I can't. Okay. Hold still and I'm going to shoot you. Get up, Link. Get up, Link. Get up. Miss me. Pull out your glider. He's not. Oh, this trick. Yeah, we've seen this trick before. Oh. Stop moving. Uh, I'm gonna eat a little bit. Okay, so this boss battle is living up to the to the hype. It's actually a good fight so far. And uh, he's not really doing that much damage. Urbosa's Fury not even doing that much to him. There we go. I can always get more ancient arrows, you know what I mean? Wait, what? Oh, phase two. Phase two. All right. Yeah. Let's go, Daruk. Do it again. Don't even need Daruk. Oh, again? Too easy. Let's go. 
final phase. Show us your true form. Why you like to look like a freaky spider? Stop wasting my time. Show us your true form, Ganon. You know you ain't gonna beat me in that pathetic form. Yeah, without the four divine beasts though, I mean, it would take twice as long to kill him there in master mode, but we would have been fine. I'm pretty sure the master sword won't break either when it's like in the presence of evil. It's just pretty much unlimited power, especially when it's in the presence of Ganondorf. Is he dead? Of course not. He's evolving from his spider form to his epic true form. I think any minute now. <laughs> oh, we're being teleported. He's fleeing. He's running. He's running away. Outside of Hyrule Castle now. And we have Cookie! Cookie is with us in the end. Ganon. Ganon was born out of a dark past. He is a pure embodiment of the ancient evil that is reborn time and time. I want to have a Zelda game that more explores Ganon's story of how he became evil. He has given up on reincarnation and assumed his pure, enraged form. If set free upon our world, the destruction will be unlike anything ever seen before. Oh, Dark Beast Ganon. So this is your true form? I entrust you with the Bow of Light. A powerful weapon in the face the of... The Bow of Light, huh? You could have given that to me before. Link, you may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power. No, I am. I'm, I'm fully good, Zelda. Speak for yourself. Courage need not be remembered, for it is never forgotten. Courage is not remembered because it's never forgotten. Okay, that makes sense. Don't get it, Cookie. Don't get it. Oh. 100 damage. Okay. When wielded by the hero, it fires arrow of pure light strong enough to oppose calamity. All right, cool. Let's Let's do this, Cookie. Uh, yeah, what are we doing now? <laughs> how, how do I fight this guy? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's get equipped the bow of light. Whoa! Oh, this is so epic. None of my attacks will get through. Uh, okay, how about this point right there? <laughs> Instant death blow. Uh, Ganon, I'm over here, you big dummy. Oh, there we go. You know, Ganon, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. You're so big, you can't even see me. Cookie, you are a legend. Only second to Epona. I, in fact, I don't even know if Epona would be down for this. Cookie is just on another level. Oh boy. Although I'm a little disappointed I can't use my master cycle. Would have been nice a little bit ago, Arbrosa, but it's all good. I think you're kind of useless in this situation. Oh, got some more light holes coming out of Ganon. I guess that's Zelda, like, creating weak spots on him. Whoa, Cookie! Whoa, Cookie, no! No, Cookie! Don't drive into the beast! There we go. Oh, he's... He is almost dead, guys. Couple more hits. And we got this wrapped up. Oh, look at his face! So epic! No, he's kind of like not even hard to fight in this form. A little disappointing. 
I mean, look at Ganon. What are you shooting at? There's nothing over there. Alright, where's the glowing spot? Let me guess, it's gonna be like right on its belly. Yep. Uh, that works, that works. No cookie! No cookie! We're so close and now you're getting us killed. You know what, Cookie, you're on your own. You are on your own. I'm a little busy, Zelda. Oh my gosh, Cookie. If we lose this battle because of you, I take back everything I said. That's the very core of his being. I don't, I don't see it. It's like kind of like sealing up Zelda. It's not like, not like an easy shot. We're shooting it. It's like nothing's happening. All right, I see the updraft. Oh, there's the core. Ah, he blasted me. No, we must try again. Link, pull out your stupid parachute. GG. Oh, princess. Are you actually going to do your thing and seal him for more than a hundred years this time? If you guys actually know Zelda's story in this game, like it's actually an amazing story. The game is just as much about her struggles and her triumphant like overcoming and all that, just as much as it is about Link. And one of the reasons I really like this game Ganon don't like that. He don't like the light. It's too bright. Zelda, do something. He's escaping. He's trying to run away again. Wait, 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 wait. I know her plan. Let him eat you, Zelda, and then blow him up from the inside. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, he didn't eat her. That would have been a perfect plan, though. Oh, Zelda using her power. Oh, the Triforce. Zelda with the Triforce of Wisdom, of course. But Ganon has the Triforce of Power. So what did you do, Zelda? It looked like you just transferred him to a different realm, didn't you? Destroy Ganon complete? I don't know about that. I don't think he's destroyed. It looked like she just kind of teleported him somewhere. Oh, he'll be back. He'll be back. In fact, I know he's back because there's a sequel to this game coming out in a few months. I've been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Link. The hero of Hyrule. Thank you, thank you. You did good, like May holding him down. Do you really remember? Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember you being rude to me. I, I actually recovered all the memories. I don't know if you know, but you said you saw, but yeah. You weren't always nice to me in the memories, just saying. Considering all I do is, you know, put my life on the line for you. Well, guys, we did it. We beat Breath of the Wild. It's not the first time, but it is the first time in Master Mode. So amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, there are some additional cutscenes after the credits, so definitely stay until after the credits if you want to see the, the other cutscenes. Uh, these credits are not that memorable, to be honest. Like, I remember the first time I beat Ocarina of Time, I was, like, in tears because the credit scene was just 
it was a whole cutscene in itself. Like, there's a whole party. Like, all the people you've ever met in the whole game are dancing around a bonfire. And it's just like, I don't know. It was just literally amazing. These credits, though, they just show, like, screenshots. And they do play some of the music, which is nice. But, yeah, honestly, I might just fast forward uh, part of these credits. I will say, though, guys... Breath of the Wild is one of my top games of all time, like one of my top favorite games ever. Uh, it has a lot of memory for me. You know, when the game came out, my son was only, my oldest son was, this game came out like five years ago, so he was like three. And my daughter was like two. And my third son wasn't even born yet, but yeah, I have memories of my kids playing this game. Like my daughter would just, she, <laughs> when she was like, four or five I don't know she would just uh, she she wasn't really good at the game but one thing she could do was go tame a horse and bring the horse back to the stable and she would just do that over and over and for the names she would just put like gibberish so my stable had a bunch of horses with random names but man yeah it just brings me back to like you know when my kids were little and then also just this game is such a good game you know probably the best open world I mean, I've played a lot of games, guys. I've been playing games since I was five years old. I'm 35 now, so, like, I've played a lot, a lot of games. I've played all the Elder Scrolls games except for the first two. Um, Morrowind was my favorite. I've played almost all the Assassin's Creed games. I've played, I played almost all the big games you could think of and many of the not-so-big ones. And I, I think Breath of the Wild is one of the best, if not the best, open-world game just because... It's full of mystery. It doesn't really point you where to go very vaguely. I mean, it, it only tells you to do the Divine Beast, but that's it. Like, there's so many areas on the map that are not required to go to and not you're never going to go to unless you just kind of explore that are so amazing and memorable. Like, most game developers don't put so much time into areas that people may never even see. But Nintendo knows... That is what makes a game incredible. Not just what you know they're gonna see, but that obviously that's super important. But the stuff that you don't know if anyone's even gonna find it is so important because for those people that do find it, it's so memorable and so uh, makes you feel like you discovered something important. And you know, this game is just literally bursting with all of those type of uh, places you know and I don't know if we covered them all in this playthrough but one thing I will say guys if you've watched this playthrough from the very beginning and you're listening to me right now and you've seen every episode please leave a comment and let me know like that you watch that because I doubt there's very very many people that actually watched every episode and even if you did not watch every episode maybe you just watched this one or maybe you just watched the last few that I've been doing because I did have a break of like a year or two in between uh, doing the end of the normal game and then doing all the DLC and beating Ganon. So if you only watched a few episodes of something, also leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. I'm definitely going to be doing a playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom when that comes out. Just doing a blind playthrough. I might be doing like some tips and tricks videos as well. We'll see. Uh, and right now I'm, I'm doing a playthrough of God of War Ragnarok. So... Just a little advertisement. Now that I'm done with this game, if you do want to watch me play another game, I'm playing that, uh, God of War Ragnarok right now. Now that I'm done with this game, I can focus more on that game and pump out the episodes. So I just really wanted to beat this game. But yeah, the credits could have been a little bit better. Like they really just screenshots and is kind of low effort for this amazing masterpiece of a game otherwise, but it's okay. They're just credits after all. Let me know if you guys have ever beaten this game. Uh, it's for, for people that have actually beaten the game, I've never heard a person say like, <laughs> I regret playing this game. It was a terrible game. Like everyone that I know that has actually beaten this game thinks it's one of the best games. So if you've never beaten it and you're listening to me right now and you have a Switch, what are you waiting for? Get this game and play it. It's amazing. You have time. You don't have to worry like, oh, the sequel's coming out in March or May or whatever. Don't worry about it. 
This game will be amazing for all time. Just like Ocarina of Time and some of my other favorite games, you know? It, it, it will be amazing for all time, and I'm sure I will come back and play it again. Like, I've already beaten this game four times, and I know, probably not anytime soon, probably gonna be years and years down the road, but I will definitely come back and beat this game again. It's just way too memorable for me. It means a lot to me, just as much as Ocarina of Time did uh, when that game came out when I was like nine years old or something. You know, that game defined like video games. It really got me into, I mean, I was already into video games, but that game, that game drew me in like no other game before. The music, the atmosphere, the, the questing, the story, the length of the game, the scope, how many different areas at the time like I never imagined like that game is just so 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 dear to my heart so a creative time is always gonna be my number one favorite game of all time probably but breath of the wild is that game for a generation of gamers it I'm sure it is Oof, these credits are kind of long but it's worth it to uh, stick it out guys we're very near the end I was gonna fast forward but now we're pretty much at the end so let's just watch it uh, there's going to be at least one or two cutscenes here at the end. And uh, I will say, though, guys, one thing that is a little bit disappointing for me is when you do beat this game, like, you, you destroyed Ganon. I would like it if you could keep playing and Hyrule Castle is now purged of evil and, like, the people are seen you know, rebuilding and stuff. Like, it doesn't have to, like, go beyond that. You know, I just want to see, like, Gorons and Hylians and Zora and Rito and Gerudo all coming to Hyrule Castle and start helping rebuild, you know? And that's, like, where the game kind of ends, where, like, you could just see them rebuilding. You know, that would be awesome. But no. After you beat the game, all you get is a little star next to the save file and... You load into the game and Ganon is not defeated. The legends, Shigeru Miyamoto and Satoru Iwata. Rest in peace, Iwata. All right, that's the end of the credits. And uh, yeah, like I said, guys, one of my favorite games of all time. Let me know in the comments. If you watched to the end, or at all. See? This is what I want! I want to load into the game and it's like this. The castle is purged. And Zelda is alive! Zelda is alive. I thought she would be dead, but she's actually alive. Look. She's with Link after he beat Ganon. And there's her dad and all the champions dead. But Zelda is not dead. She actually locked herself in a time capsule with Ganon. Did not age for 100 years. Just like Link. Kind of crazy. She did it with her own power. And Link did it with the Shrine of Resurrection. Amazing. Amazing. I wish... I wish we could just... Load into that save file. Like this. The end. Or is it? We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Varuta. Looks like it's stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, there is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, 
We can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Yes. Let's be yes, up. that's what I want. But the game developers deny me it. I guess we have to wait for the next game. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I can no longer hear the voice inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. Zelda finally having a big smile. <laughs> that looked kind of funny. Zelda had been so hard on herself the whole game, and now she finally just doesn't care anymore. Look at all the silent princesses flourishing now. It used to be a rare flower. Now they're everywhere. I guess that's like symbolic of her being like, I don't know, flourishing herself. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the game. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy, friends.